Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the new fetch up compatible diversity model from LRC, the LRX. In this short video I'm going to go over its features and on the next video I'm going to head outdoors and compare it side by side with the Immersion RC Rapid Fire and the Furious FPV through the receivers. In case you never heard of LRC, it's a small company and it is owned by an RF expert. This is the third product that they released. The first one is an FPV racing frame, and the second one is this SWR meter, which I really like. Inside the box of the LRX, we get in the model, a short instructions manual, and this 3D printed PLA cover, which is compatible with Dominator goggles, and according to the instructions manual, a cover which is compatible with Attitude goggles should be available as well. Now I've got the LRX mounted on the Furious FPV docking. Configuring the RX is done using these three buttons over here, and on the very bright and readable OLED screen, we can see the indication of the channel, the band, and also the RSSI of each antenna. Changing the channel is done either by short pressing the right or the left buttons, so we can switch between the eight available options, and you can see also the indication of the channel on the screen over here, and if you'd like, you can also turn this option off. In order to change the band, you need to either long press the right or the left button, and then you can change between five options. The first one is A, then B, E, F, and finally R. Entering the menu is done by long pressing the center button. The first option is the channel option, which I just showed you, and you can see also over here the main menu. So the first option is channel, then frequency, favorites, band scan, finder, and finally the settings. In order to select an option, you need to short press the center button. So now let's enter the frequency menu. In this sub menu, you can set the frequency manually and you can set it all the way between 5645 up to 5945. Next, under the favorites menu, we can select the favorites channel and you can toggle the favorites by just short pressing the center button. So for example, now F8 is under the favorites menu, but if I'm going to short press the middle button, now you can see it is unselected, and now it's been removed from the favorites. Next we can perform a band scan, so first you need to select the band, you can do it by just short pressing the right or the left buttons, now I'm going to perform a scan on band F, so after plugging a quadcopter that it's VTX broadcast on F7, you can see that next to F7 we can see the RSSI, which is 99. Next is the finder. This will enable you to find a lost quadcopter, of course, if the battery is still connected. So after setting the frequency to 5860, as you can see, when I'm moving the quadcopter closer to the receiver, the RSSI is higher, and you can see the indication of the RSSI over here. Finally, we can enter the settings menu, which is pretty short. First, you can enable or disable the diversity. You can enable the insane mode, which I'm going to use. Basically the insane mode is going to switch faster between the antennas. Next we can turn on and off the OSD. You can also turn on and off the RSI or the OSD. So on the top right you're going to see an indication of the frequency and also the RSSI as you're going to see on my next video. And finally you can exit this menu. Here you can see how the LRX looks inside the model bay of my Fetchock HD3 when it's secured using the provided PLA 3D printed cover. Of course, this is not as elegant as the cover of the Furious FPV through the receiver and the rapid fire, but still it does the trick. However, this is a pretty fragile cover, so you can see that this part is already a little bit broken, so I recommend that you shouldn't take it on and off the goggles quite often, otherwise it might happen to you as well. In terms of pricing, the LRX is being sold for around $90, so this is definitely not a cheap receiver, and it is designed to compete directly with the Furious FEV Trudy and the Immersion RC Rapid Fire models. The next thing I've done is to update the Furious FEV to the latest version, which is 3.8, and the Rapid Fire to the latest version, which is 1.1.5, and then I took these three models outdoors and compared them side by side using the same antennas. For patched, I used this Relay CC triple feed patch antenna, and I also used this Elmway Cloverleaf antenna. I did make sure that all the antennas are calibrated correctly using the RFC SWR meter, because otherwise it could affect the results. After testing the results, I can tell you that the LRX suffers from some major issues, especially when the signal gets pretty low, and since this is the first version, I do think and also hope that they are going to release an update pretty soon, 
and updating this model should be pretty easy since it features this micro USB port. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the other rigs, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.